I'm Janus. I have recently finished my master in computational science at the University of Amsterdam. Before that, I've done a bachelor in physics at the University of Amsterdam. And next week, I will be starting my PhD at a research institute close to the university. The computational science program is a very stimulating program in the sense that the kind of things that we look into is, for instance, the way information goes through social networks or information goes through uh, biological networks. And what we're trying to understand is can we come up with computational models, models that we can process in the computer in such a way that we can mimic the way nature processes information. The first year of the master contains most of the obligatory courses and the other courses that you will take. Well, examples of the obligatory courses are an introduction to numerical algorithms and uh, a course on concurrent programming, so parallel programming. Uh, in the constraint choice you can find courses such as uh, computational finance, computational biology, computational astrophysics, and the free choice is basically up to you. You could ask yourself the question, why, why come to Amsterdam? In the science park in Amsterdam, we have a unique situation where we have a combination of all the different disciplines that I've been talking about in computational science. People with different backgrounds enroll in the master program, uh, for example from biology, mathematics or physics, or maybe some other field. Uh, we are a central hub in, uh, in internet connections. We have supercomputers just around the corner. And uh, we are in a lucky situation that we have a lot of National Science Foundation projects, as well as a lot of European projects, for which we get money to pay students, PhD students. What I'm really happy about is the combination, uh, in my case, of physics, with the computational techniques that I've learned in the master. These are the kind of things that computational science is about. It's trying to understand complex systems, trying to understand the complexity, to model the complexity of our world, um, and uh, run computer simulations and do predictions. Um, and that's what we're going to teach you, uh, we're going to train you for and provide you with skills so that you can do that on your own. I would ask the question in this way. What is a, like, a real problem that is not solved using computational techniques nowadays.